Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Ken's Tech Review. And here's Ken. Hey, what's up guys? And if you guys like that intro, be sure to leave a like on the like button. And today I'm going to show you guys feeling inspired, feeling inspired. I'm going to show you guys another video on custom ROMs, which you know you guys are loving in the last two videos. So I'm going to bring another one to you. This is Sanjo Mod 12.1, and I'm going to jump right into it. So you know it's going to be three main points I'm going to be looking at as always: customization, battery life, and performance. And that's always what I'm going to be looking at. And then look at custom ROMs. So this custom room is a bit different. So we're not going to exactly get the best customization. I mean, you still have the custom, the, the double tap to sleep, and you know, could rearrange the navigation bar targets, and you know, on the ring targets on the home button. All that's cool and stuff, but not really give you as much customization as Chroma or even um, Slim Slim LP. I, I did the review in my two previous videos. So if you guys are looking for something different to customization, what this ROM brings is teams. Now. Teams is is okay, I guess. I mean, it's not really the best um, sense of customization, but you see how my phone looks here. It looks really nice, and your Sanjamar brings you the app jar. It brings you the alph alphabetical order. So if you see from here, from number sign straight down to Z, have all the teams showing up, and we basically do could download any team that is basically set for custom for Sanjamar 12 in the Play Store, and basically install it. See, so have you no know, the the Euphoria Dark Team, and you can set different aspects of the team like you can set the icons you can set the uh, background you can set the even the the animation the boot wallpapers if you have your boot um your boot logo is that what it's called if you have your boot logo unlocked unlocked so you can easily set different animations so when it boot up different pictures to see instead of seeing um just the regular google uh normal boot animation you know with four dots going around circle you could set this this one has euphoria you see euphoria and have the lollipop spinning so all that's pretty cool and you know this rom is based on 5.1 android 5.1 android lollipop so yeah it's not not really much like a sin of customization it, apart from the fact that it's just based on teams but i'm here i'm going to go in the play store and show you guys just a little bit of the teams so uh if i hit here i see sanjo mod 12 steam then it's a bunch of teams comes up and you guys can easily scroll through see which one you like uh what is to your taste and stuff of course a lot of people like the dark teams a lot of people like you know the other ones whatever your preference is but it's very nice and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys and set one this is for, for you guys and show you guys how it looks. So if you just wanted to download and install, it shouldn't take too long, teams aren't too big. And yeah, so San Jamal has been around for a while. I mean, I remember trying it back on my, um, my, my tab 2 and it wasn't really the best of ROMs back then. That's when it was a wrong, I think that was a wrong 8, San Jamal 8 and 9. Um... But they were okay ROMs, but they, they were, it wasn't really to my liking, so I didn't really use them that much. So I tried to stay away from them and uh, what's not. But okay, this team is downloaded now. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to set the team. So it's downloaded there. Go into Teams. You're able to see it here. It has to go on Team that I just downloaded. And I can put the style, status bar, navigation bar. And leave the wallpapers, leave the lock papers and apply it. Takes a little while to apply. And there you go guys. All new fresh look on my phone. And it's that easy to really set teams. So it's not really gonna do any like on hands in depth customization like colors and stuff like other ROMs I show you guys, but it's still a level of customization. I won't say it's the best, but it's okay for now. So on to battery life. Battery life is okay again. I mean, it's my again is is a Nexus 4, a pretty old phone. So I'm not really looking for the top notch battery life like what you get on S6, as I said in many views, or, or, or the iPhone 6 or whatever, you know. But see here, I, I last from about 12:30 to about again 12 p.m. So it's not really, I, and that's an okay usage. And again, if you look, if you see the beginning here, at uh, the beginning of the picture here, the beginning of the of the percentage, it drops from 100% straight to 80 something percent and that's something wrong with my battery itself So I don't really get the full uses of my battery. I can never really get charged past 83 percent It just goes at 80 percent and then skips to 100 and then when I unplug it five minutes later It drops back to 83 percent. So I don't know exactly what's wrong with the battery and I probably have to change it But let's get a new phone and then if, if that's the case, but 
yeah so my life is okay on this on this rom it does draw battery under heavy consumption so if you are a heavy user your phone watching all youtube videos or even showbox or anything like that you, you're gonna have to charge your phone during the day uh probably around 12 or something if you unplug it early in the morning or what's not so yeah that's something to keep in mind guys okay and now to performance performance on this phone is okay it's not really bad but again it's a pretty old phone but sometimes roms tend to improve performance in certain areas and and then others so i'm gonna go here i'm gonna go on what i used to go on for all my sites all my roms which is the verge okay let's type in the verge here See how fast it loads. Oh, and it look it loads pretty okay. You know, not really the best, not really fast, top notch speed. Uh, it's gonna get you like what you know a second or a split second or anything like that. And see, it's still the bar is still loading at the top. If you see right here, it's still loading. So you know. Can't really complain if they if they fault all this phone is to really want the best. And if you click on a video, see how fast the video loads. And nothing. I'm not gonna waste time here, go though guys. But yeah, uh this ROM is pretty cool. Um I can't really complain and see how the, the polo menu and stuff, all that stuff changes when you install a new team. And this team looks nice, it's just a random Creativity, team. inventiveness, and genius. Composer Robert Schumann and painter Vincent Van Gogh embody those concepts. But they may have had something else in common. Some scholars think that they have had... Uh, it's not really a bad ROM, guys. Uh, you guys want to go and check it out. Uh, Sandra Mod is, is a very trusted ROM. So, I mean, they, they bring on night leaves and stuff on a regular so it's like they always get updated to the latest uh um uh, features and stuff that may come on android as soon as they release on this rom uh but one thing i want to go and jump into before i get out of here guys is the kernel i've been using the health core kernel for quite a while and i always mention it in my videos but i never really tell you guys about it and health health core uh kernel is basically like you know how to really like, it gets into customization of your phone and why I use this kernel is because it has double tap to wake but um, when I was doing the performance test, just now I realized that I remembered that I had my CPU clock to a lower frequency than than how it should be. So on a regular basis, it would not be at 1.5, which you know the Nexus 4 has a 1.5 gigahertz processor. But I normally has it. At, I normally have it at 11, 11:34, and that will probably slow down performance a bit. So the test might not be as accurate that I did opening the first site. But you know, just to have double tap to wake, I use this ROM this kernel sorry and it's pretty cool you know you guys can go and check it out go and see if you guys like it you know you will be have to be rooted um I've, i want to do videos to show you guys how to get this stuff on your phone but i can't really do it right now because you know i don't have a camera to actually record my screen and there's a lot of rebooting in the process of um actually having your phone to install custom roms or kernels so i can't really show you guys that exactly because i'm just recording the screen but for now this is just um House curl corner, you can download it from the Play Store. It will if you have if you have Twerk Recovery installed on your phone, just go in the Play Store, look for House Core Kernel. You'll find those those two apps that I showed you guys, which are these two, and just install them and they will install the kernel for you, reboot your phone, and just set up whatever you want to do, customization on a different level. And there are a bunch of other kernels that are good as well. Frank Cross kernel is one of them. And before the video goes on too long, let's we'll catch you guys in the next one. If you guys like the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Like if you like the intro. Be sure to leave a comment telling you guys what you think about that. No, she wants to do it by popular demand. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.